stock. It was pretty undervalued as so is Shalbi. If you look at the last one month chart, you would see almost 30% run up coming in on Shalbi hospitals in the last one month alone. We have Shanae Shah uh, joining us now to talk more about that. Shanae, good morning. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, you know, market is pretty excited that in the next 12 to 18 months, a lot of your uh, capex which you have done in the past new hospitals uh, will be commissioned in year 25. 24 will wind, wind up uh, by March, but 25 would be where we are expecting commissioning of Nasik Hospital action, uh, a lot of franchises. So, is that a right uh, uh, assessment of the market? The 25, there could be big earnings boost for you? Yeah, good morning, Ajay ji. I think, uh, yes, uh, we are looking at, uh, you know, Bombay, which is uh, one of our uh, premier projects. And uh, in fact, uh, we, we do believe that uh, uh, since we have just filed for the charity commissioner's application, uh, we believe that in the next two to three months, we should get that approval. And we are looking at anywhere between two to two and a half years from there to operationalize that hospital. So that is going to be a landmark project for the group, about 200 beds in Santa Cruz. It's the erstwhile Asha Parekh Hospital, uh, and we are going to break the building down since it's a very old building, and uh, we'll make a greenfield project uh, in Bombay. Yes, apart from that, uh, we have a lot of uh, franchisees coming in. Uh, you know, we are uh, talking to um, many uh, different uh, partners uh, across India. We've shortlisted about uh, 30 cities as we speak. And, uh, you know, uh, in the next uh, three to five years, uh, we have laid uh, a plan to kind of have at least 30 franchisees uh, from the existing five. So there is a lot of uh, 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 expectation from that that particular vertical. Uh, let's also, you know, talk about this, uh, uh, the new hospital which you're talking about in Santa Cruz. How much are you investing in and what's the payback time or some kind of idea on returns from here? Well, uh, the investment will be anywhere uh, uh, between 150 to 175 crores uh, in this particular hospital. It will be a full-fledged multi-speciality hospital and uh, with a focus on ortho and uh, oncology. And uh, the payback period will be in line with some of our other hospital group uh, projects, which is between uh, for five to seven years. Uh, and uh, after that, we will be expecting steady state 25-30% kind of ROCs in this particular hospital. And I'm saying this because, uh, you know, this is a particularly unique project because if I uh, or the group, uh, you know, if we kind of look at, uh, uh, you know, a, a property in Bombay of this size and, you know, we look at acquiring this facility and then, you know, kind of uh, uh, acquiring the land and then, uh, you know, uh, spending on the building and medical equipment, uh, then you're not looking at less than 10 to 12 years. But because this is a kind of lease arrangement with, uh, you know, the trust, uh, we are going to be kind of able to do it in the next, in, in, in five to six years of operations. Okay, fair enough. That's a lot about, lot about your expansion plans. Uh, let's also talk a little bit about the implant devices business as well, because that was a little bit weak due to some of the supply side issues. When do you see these concerns subsiding? What's the outlook? Well, we are already seeing that, you know, we are basically able to manage uh, some of our suppliers uh, well at the moment. In fact, uh, what we see is that uh, we, we continue to remain bullish in the sense that, you know, our five-year target of $100, $100 million uh, remains the same for, for the implant business. Uh, you know, we have already launched one of our important products, which is the Unicorn Dialer Knee. And uh, in the next uh, three months, uh, we are expected to launch uh, CKS, uh, which is you know an upgradation of the of one of the existing implants. And we are also in line to kind of launch our uh, ambition project, which is uh, supposed to come uh, and will be expected in the in the middle of uh, FY25. Uh, so you know, uh, I think th these are some of the important uh, launches that we need uh, to kind of uh, uh, enhance the product portfolio. And uh, we are in line to kind of uh, do our 20 million kind of dollar uh, sales uh, uh, in uh, FY25. So that's how uh, we see the implant business. How's your acquisition uh, shaping up the one, the company which you acquired in US and the synergy that you was being aimed at uh, are being derived uh, fully? Yeah, so this is the same implant business. And in fact, uh, the product launches that I was talking about was for this business. And uh, yes, it's been about two years plus now since we've acquired the facility. And yes, uh, we have pumped in uh, capital to kind of uh, uh, increase the stocks because uh, uh, as we look to kind of engage with more doctors, it's important to have a certain level of inventory. 
So that's what uh, we've been focusing on. Uh, after uh, acquisition, we have already, uh, you know, erstwhile business was doing, uh, uh, they were focusing on US and Japan. They were not approved elsewhere. Uh, we got the permission in India and we are already doing north of eight to $10 million in, 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 in India at the moment in terms of business. Uh, and also in Indonesia. So we have the approvals to sell in, in, in Indonesia as well. So we are looking at uh, expansion in some of these emerging markets while we continue to focus on uh, the largest market, which is the United States. All right, fair enough. What's the sense that you're getting as well in terms of um, the franchise model, the kind of scope of growth that you see here? Yeah, the franchise model, uh, we already have five franchisees uh, up and running. Uh, it's a combination of uh, three uh, FOSMs and two FOSOs. So, um, as I said, you know, we are looking to do about uh, 30 franchisees over the next three to five years. And we are seeing uh, a solid year on year growth, even a very high quarter on quarter growth, although the base has been small. So, you know, the base is small, but uh, we are kind of uh, uh, happy because, you know, we are seeing uh, a lot of uh, uh, growth. Uh, in terms of uh, how we are able to kind of generate uh, and uh, meet uh, the people's and the patient's expectations at these units. Okay, and uh, what about uh, the out, out, the launch then of the Uni Knee product in India? What kind of sales momentum can we expect? So the, this product is already uh, launched uh, in India and uh, uh, the potential is, is massive. I will not be able to kind of share, share it in numbers, uh, but yes, uh, uh, there is a very low or uh, no competition in our product because uh, 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 very few uh, or uh, hardly any of the top five, top six companies have a fixed bearing unicorn dialer knee. So, you know, from that perspective, it will give us a good momentum. Uh, the moment we re reach out to uh, more cities with this product. Thanks so much for taking time out and joining in. Let's Thank move you. right on then.